25 years ago, Japanese Ambassador Hiroshi Saito called on Secretary of State Cordell Hull with formal notification that Japan would denounce the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922, which limited its fleet to a size smaller than Britain's or America's. An ominous cloud, disregarded in the rush of livelier news, such as the commissioning of the first woman to fly the mail, Helen Ritchie. The holder of a record for endurance flight, she was assigned the run between Washington and Detroit. A new deal, so to speak, in the post office that brought Helen Ritchie a prized piece of jewelry, a pair of silver wings. 